This is John Adolfi. Welcome to another episode of Hunt Home Underground. It's noisy here because this house is on a traffic at a road here in Baldwinsville. But here we have 104 East Genesee Street. HUD is asking $25,000 for this little home. And we're going to go inside. 740 square feet. Where would I even put my couch? All right, let's go take a look inside. It looks nice from the outside, nicely painted. All right. Okay. This is one of the few that I've actually been inside before I've actually videoed. You know that all my videos, I say out of the 150 I've shot so far, I never go inside. It's always my initial reaction. I just got done meeting some clients here to show it and so I've already seen it. My initial impression when I walked in, small, eh, you know. However, as I was looking at the property further, I, there were some things that I was impressed with. Like here, right here, you can't see this, but the floor dips right down here. The house was built in 1887 and this happens sometimes. And what, would, what you would wanna do here is you wanna have somebody go downstairs, jack it up little by little by little, and put a jack post there and a beam if necessary. That will straighten this whole thing out here. I don't want to sound like I'm minimizing it, but that's that's how you do it. Right here, water closet. This is the ultimate water closet. A uh, toilet went right there. It's in the, right off the kitchen, which is typical of most of your 1800s or your farmhouses. All right, so we've got a kitchen. Not bad. The cabinets are good. Bathroom. Oh, this is, okay, this is the other bathroom. The real bathroom. Off the kitchen again, which is again typical. And we've got a stove and a side door here. Let's go upstairs. Upstairs wasn't too bad. It's a two bedroom house. It's only about 700, 740 square feet. A lot of wainscoting. I'm sure that's original. At least it looks like it's old. And then we've got one bedroom up here and another one leading into the, the second bedroom which, you know, carpeting is older, stained. Stained doesn't necessarily mean it's bad because, you, you know, you'd be surprised what uh, good carpet cleaning can do. All right, we're going to go down cellar, take a look. Then there's some surprises outside I want to okay. show Okay, down cellar, and it's got uh, updated few, I'm sorry, updated circuit breakers. And we've got a place for a washer and dryer down here. We've got a gas furnace that... Eh, got some corrosion here and a little rust down there. Hot water tank. It's been winterized. But, you know, hot water tank cost you $250, maybe another $100, $150 to have it installed. Um, if you ever did have to replace a gas furnace, listen, don't get ripped off. I'm serious. Some people get ripped off by people charging them. Four, five, six thousand dollars. That's not the case. Just get on Google and uh, look up uh, gas forced air furnace, and you'll find out that they're somewhere around, I know, a thousand, fifteen hundred dollars less, five hundred bucks. Go to Home Depot, check it out, and then buy it, bring it, set it here in the living room, and then say, okay, go ahead and install it. How much is going to cost me? They'll charge you, I don't know, three, four, five hundred dollars instead of. $5,000 to install one or $4,000, that's stupid. Even a boiler, $1,500 on, uh, on, online for a new boiler. What's it going to cost to hook up the, the boiler and the mechanics? Do you see what I'm saying? Don't let these guys rip you off. Okay, outside, look, the lot size is 50 by 200. And uh, what I was especially excited about is that this, this yard goes back all the way back there. You see that shed right there? The yard goes all the way back there and all the way down here is a nice, nice fence. Now it's not very wide, it's 50 feet wide, which is fine, but, um, and the property line goes right about to there where the side of this garage is here, all the way back to where that white house is. All right, for $25,000, it's not bad. It's, it's not bad at all. Sold in 2003 for, oh, what was it, 50, $52,000. And in 1998, it sold for $38,000. So $25,000 is value here. I'm John Adolfi. You have a great day. Call me at 695-6434, and I just love HUD homes. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you enjoyed the video, you're going to love 
HUD Home Underground. It's something we rolled out just a couple of weeks ago, and what it is is a newsletter that keeps you on top of everything that's going on in the central New York area with HUD Homes. So if you're looking to buy a HUD Home to live in, this is especially dedicated to you. In this weekly newsletter, we're going to not only share what HUD Homes are available, but a lot of the tips on how to do it, and also some of my secrets on how to not only beat the competition, but get it for rock bottom price. Now if you want to subscribe to this newsletter, you just go ahead and put your email address in this box right over here and then click on join. Once you do that, you're going to have one more step and that is this will pop up. You need to just go ahead on the left hand side, confirm your email address and then over here on the right, I'm going to need your first name so that when the newsletter is generated, it doesn't refer to you as hey you. Underneath it, you'll see this thing called the VIP membership. If you give me that additional information, what you're going to get, and this is all free, is a 60-second voice broadcast when a hot HUD deal comes up where I need to get the information out immediately. So once you fill that all out, you go ahead and come right over here where it says Save Profile Changes. Click on that, and you're in. I look forward to hearing from you. Have a great day.